Hey friends, so uh, me and Anna are excited to share something today. We um, are sort of starting a new stage and journey in our retirement life for us and it's something that we've been wanting to do. And um, so we bought a truck and we're gonna show you the truck today. But the reason why we bought it is because we wanted to take a trip throughout the United States and started exploring some of the national parks and just some of the cities and small towns and just other states, we haven't really done that. So we want to get a fifth wheel and um, start our journeys. So we're gonna do a little series of videos on this and, and, our, and our search for a fifth wheel, how to hook the fifth wheel to the truck and actually even sharing the truck. A lot of decisions had to be made and trade-offs and trying to find the right truck. And for us, we didn't find the perfect one, but we found a really good one. And so we're looking for any input and suggestions to help make our uh, journey better. So that's what this is about. And uh, we're gonna start by showing you our new truck. We did get the, um, the Lariat trim package, which um, was the trim package we wanted. It has the leather seats and some of the, has a moon roof and um, has like the power, uh, running boards, which you kind of need because this is pretty, pretty um, high uh, step up into the, the truck. Okay, so this is the, uh, the cab of the truck. And um, again, it's a Lariat package, which is what we wanted, the trim package. And it came with um, really the, all the towing, trailering features that we wanted to have. Um, you got the pro trailer assist where you can use this to actually back the truck up to hitch up to your trailer. Um, it's got um, all the camera options. It's got the 360 camera, which we think is going to be helpful for us. It's got, uh, let's see, your bed back so we can back up, follow the line to our hitch. It's got, oh, so we're traveling. It's got the side by side. We think that's going to be helpful. You got, you can see the hitch if you're going to hitch up to the bumper. So it just has a lot of, it has other options too. And what's really cool, some of these you can actually zoom in like if i want to if i'm coming up close to the curb and i want to see where i'm going to go right here i can actually zoom right in there to see where the truck is versus an obstacle or something so really think these are going to be helpful for us in our old age um and then uh has all the adaptive driving and cruise control and all those features has a moonroof up here that opens up all the way back this opens up uh, really just looking forward to using that for uh, traveling through the national parks and just nature and, and, and seeing it can everything even go further, right? yeah it go yeah it can go all the way up into there and uh, even people in the back can have a nice view up um, and then it's got the electric window in the back very back so you can open that up so it's, you know, it's got, and then it's got the upfitter switches too. So we can hook up some auxiliary uh, connections for things. Um, so really happy with the trim package. Um, it is four wheel drive. It does have the off-road, some of the off-roading stuff. Um, and then I think another reason why we went with this vehicle um, is because it's gas. And we know that the diesel is gonna do a better job pulling heavy loads probably do a better job downhill with the uh with the braking but this is the 7.3 liter godzilla engine 10 speed transmission and <clears throat> we're just hoping that this is going to be the perfect balance between a little more power in a gas engine um, the transmission does some tr some engine braking downhill for you that reviews say it's pretty good um, but in California, we're just worried about diesel. And um, there's just such a push for clean energy in California that we're just afraid that, you know, you're not gonna be able to get diesel gas soon. So I don't know. But anyways, that was one of the reasons why we went with the gas engine, honestly, was because of our concerns about diesel fuel in California. And then um, we also went with a single uh, rear wheel and we, thought about the dually but i've had a dually one ton dually chevy crew cab and i just don't want to pull 
you drive me around in a dually, um, I know it would add more uh, stability and, and, and would be better for weight and stuff. But again, we're trying not to go too big and we're gonna try to find the, the trailer that fits this truck and what this truck has the capacity to do. All right, so the bed of the truck um, had some features that we really needed and wanted. We wanted the spray and bed liner, but we wanted to tow the fifth wheel. We needed the puck system or the gooseneck. So we got both of those options in there for us. Over here, we have all the, um, the connections for our fifth wheel. And then on this side, over here, we have the onboard power uh, option, which is like 2000 watts of power. So we can run an air compressor or some tools or whatever. Um, so those are important options for us. And then we do have the tonneau cover as well. So when we're not traveling, we can use the truck and, and safely uh, lock things up. So we're really happy with this part of the truck. These are all the things that we wanted back here. The only thing it doesn't have is it's not a long bed. So the reason we didn't get a long bed is because we couldn't find a long bed uh, gas engine with the options that we wanted. And um, so what we're gonna do is get a slider hitch and um, an automatic slider hitch, I think. But that's one of our future videos to try to look for some input and help because that's what we're kind of researching now. So, but anyways, we're really happy with the bed. So the other nice feature about the truck is there's a step to get into the, uh, the truck off the tailgate. So Anna's gonna show you how that works. And uh, yeah, there we go, look at that. Got a little handle right up there. Super easy. <laughs> so one other, one other um, uh, requirement we had on the truck is we wanted the, uh, a better gear ratio for pulling and having more torque. And so this truck has the 4.3 uh, gear ratio, which we think is gonna also help us out a little bit. And um, again, try to make our gas engine uh, truck do as much work as it can do for us while we're traveling. Okay, so this is the fun part of the video. We want to make sure that we have a fun, safe, enjoyable time when we're towing a fifth wheel, and this is some of it's new to us. We're looking for some input, some suggestions, any ideas that anybody has that might be helpful to us. Start with we taking a look at what's the capacity of the truck in terms of payload and in terms of uh, tow capacity. So looking first, inside the stickers, inside the driver's door, you can see our payload capacity is 3,793 pounds. And then you can see that our gross vehicle weight rating is 11,499 pounds. We put this table together using the capacities from our truck. And we also looked at a couple fifth wheels and just got a couple ideas out there. One maybe a little heavier, bigger than the other, but we just wanted to see how they line up with the capacities of the truck. So um, calling one of them the max fifth wheel, because that's about as big as we really wanna go. And then ideal, it's a little bit smaller. This is how they look. When you look at the max fifth wheel, uh, the dry weight of that fifth wheel is just over 11,500 pounds. And it's total fully loaded weight is 14,500 pounds. And it's pin weight is about 2,500, 2,600 pounds. So if you look at the bottom, the results, the payload for the truck, after the fifth wheel, still got a lot of payload left, 1,200 pounds, it's gonna hold us, it's gotta hold um, the fifth wheel hitch and other passengers, things that we put in there. But you can see the gross uh, combined vehicle weight rating is at only 81% of the total uh, uh, combined vehicle weight rating that the truck is rated for. So we're under that, and then the remaining towing capacity we're only at, what's that, 68% of the towing capacity. So I feel like even the bigger truck, or the bigger fifth wheel, is staying within the limits. And then you look at the one we call the ideal fifth wheel. It's a little bit smaller, a little, weighs a little bit less, only weighs 12,200 pounds at full uh, capacity. Um, it, but that fifth wheel, the gross combined vehicle weight rating is only at 74% of the truck's capacity and the remaining towing capacity, 
was that uh, 57 percent so we're just over half of it so i feel like that's pretty safe a couple questions that we have if um, somebody would like to comment and help us out it's really just given these capacities do we think that the 15,000 pound trailer is good for this track? Is it too much for the track? And the same thing with the 12,000 pound fifth wheel. One of the big questions we have really relates to the payload. Is it okay to max out the payload for your truck as you're towing and cruising along? Um, you know, I think staying under some of, some of the towing capacities uh, makes sense, but not really sure about payload. Um, is it okay to push it right up to the limit? That's no problem. Or should we try to stay under it a little bit? It's just not really sure about that. So if you have any insights, um, experience, knowledge about that, we would really appreciate hearing about that. Again, we're looking for any advice, any suggestions, any tips that anyone might have to um, help us out as we move forward. And um, we hope that you'll like this video, subscribe, hit the notify button, do all those things because we're going to uh, have a couple more videos after this. Uh, one where we're looking for the hitch that we're going to use. And then when we start looking at the fifth wheels that we're going to uh, consider as well. And so if you follow along and have some good advice, we appreciate that. Okay. So thank you so much. We appreciate it.